Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather and this is Honest Homemaking. And today we're gonna do something a little different. Uh, we're going to do a keto cook with me. Today we are making keto hamburger patties with a butter fried cabbage. We had this uh, about a week ago and it was actually one of our favorite keto meals. For those of you who don't know, um, I started keto we started keto about four weeks ago probably, but then we, we took a break about two weeks ago when we went camping, and then we've been back on it for probably almost a week now. Um, it has been, you're gonna hear Leo playing in the background. That's our reality. We have kids, we have little kids, and they make noise. So hopefully it's not too distracting, but we've had really good results with keto. Um, I lost 16 pounds in the first like, 12 days or something um of course when we went camping i went off keto and gained back eight of them so i'm in the process of re-losing those pounds i gained back but it it's been highly successful i've lost like three percent body fat in 10 days it, it's working for us um i will do a general keto update on like how we've been doing it and stuff but i don't want my channel my channel to turn into just a keto channel um, while it is working for me, it's not something that I'm super passionate about, and I will be sure to link below uh, a couple places that I get my information. Um, the first place that I'm going to send you if you're interested in doing keto is Daniela Diaries here on YouTube. Um, she's like the keto queen. She knows all about it. She can help you figure things out for you. Um, I'm not super knowledgeable. I'm still learning, so I won't be able to help you very much, but I am going to show you this really yummy dinner. So. Let's make some food. It's uh, almost 8 o'clock at night and I'm just still making dinner, which is just about how it normally works every night. this into eight patties and fry it in the pan with some butter and olive oil. have 25 ounces of kind of shredded up cabbage. Um, I've processed this in my food processor just quickly. It says if you don't have a food processor that you can just chop it up into tiny pieces. I also have four tablespoons of butter and then we are just going to season by adding lots of salt and pepper so you have some flavor in there and then you're just going to fry this up and have like fried cabbage. It's actually surprisingly good. My burgers are going in here. I only have four in there because it says to make eight patties and eight patties just does not fit in the pan. So I cook four and then cook four and uh, then make the gravy that goes over the top. burgers in this they're done back there I'm going to make the gravy that goes on top you want to leave the grease in there because keto is very high fat so I'm going to take three quarters of a cup of heavy cream mix that in it's gonna look gross at first but it comes together really well and we're gonna add in two tablespoons of tomato paste
is what it all looks like finished. I'm getting ready to put it on a plate. Um, it makes four servings, so I just kind of divide it in the pan. And there are eight patties, so, you know, two patties per serving. And then I'll put it on a plate and show you what it looks like. This is what it ends up looking like on the plate. The lighting is a little weird in here, so the colors come off a little odd. Um, the cabbage is surprisingly flavorful. And I spoon a little bit of the gravy over the burgers, but this is very filling. Um, this is Chris's plate. It's one serving. I probably will only have half a serving because it just was very filling. Um, and the whole meal, the whole serving is 10 grams of net carbs. So, uh, that's pretty good for a, a dinner. 10 grams is not a lot. Um, you're allowed to have like less than 25 a day. Uh, generally our breakfast is zero carbs and then we don't really eat lunch because on the high fat low carb diet you're not really hungry um, so we're gonna go eat our dinner and then I'm gonna clean up the mess that I made while cooking dinner and uh, anyway that was my keto cook with me it's one of our favorite keto meals and I'll leave the recipe linked below and I will probably have a blog post to go along with it with some pictures and stuff if you want to see it and uh, I'll see you guys in my next video. Uh, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.